Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, stop saying it's impossible and start saying with me at your side, all things are possible. So remember the next time you say your circumstances are impossible. That is an insult to me who says to you that all things are possible for those that believe. Therefore, stop limiting me but believe today. Keep believing the things that visionless people say is impossible, my child. For with me, all things are possible. There is no limit to the things that you can do with me, my child. Therefore, you must ensure you do not place boundaries on yourself and don't settle for so much less than what I want to give you. For I have made all things possible for you, my child. Therefore, you must ensure you do not place boundaries on yourself and don't settle for so much less than what I want to give you. For I have made all things possible for you, my child. Yet at times you put up boundaries for yourself in regards to what you can and cannot do. When you learn to have faith in my word, you will have faith in the author and do what I have done, my child. Yes, for you will do even greater things than these that is written in my word, because I send you the Holy Spirit who leads you into all truth, and you may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it, my child. I have given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loosen on earth will be loosened in heaven, my child. For I have called you to bind the power of the enemy and his demons and loose my power through my spirit that is working in you and over you in all things, my child. When you spend deeper time with me in prayer and fasting, not only will the anointing of your relationship increase, but your anointing to move in my power also. The kind of prayer that I am talking about is that daily time you spend with me, my child, getting to know me more, building a real relationship with me, and not a shallow on the surface kind of a relationship that doesn't last, my child, but rather one that will stand the test of time through every season that has tested and been tested by fire. And yes, one that gives you authority over demons, sickness and disease. Where much prayer is sown, my child, there will be much faith and anointing to demonstrate my workings upon the earth to a dying and lost world. Remember, faith does not always make things easier, but rather that it makes things possible, my child. I want you to believe me at my word, to extend your faith, to meet my purposes for your life. For with me, all things are possible and nothing is impossible if you just believe today, my child. When you walk before me in righteousness, you can sleep with a clear conscience knowing that you have walked in integrity and in my ways and you can stand before me with with me clear of any wrongdoing. Yes, for I see all those that have attacked you, and you have been found innocent by me. For I will vindicate you, my child, from those that are attacking you with no cause, and I will not let them gloat over you. Yes, those that assembled against you shall fall for your sake, for in righteousness you shall be established. I know every injustice and 
person that has done you wrong, my child, and I will not only vindicate you, but I shall ensure you are compensated so that those around you will know that I have ruled in your favor. You shall be far from oppression, my child, as my joy shall be your strength, and you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, for it shall not come near you, my child. When you have fallen in sin, repent before me, and you shall be forgiven and made as white as snow, my child. Allow me to search your heart, my child, to convict you of any sin or offense that you might be harboring in your heart. And remember, I am for you and not against you. Stop listening to the lies of the devil that remind you of things already forgiven. When I said it is finished on the cross, I meant it. Therefore, stop trying to refix what my blood has already fixed and is washed with my blood. Let go and let me today, my child. So whatever has been marked impossible in your life shall become possible. For there is nothing too hard for me to do through you, my child, because with me, all things are possible. Therefore, welcome to your day of possibilities, my child. For as you trust me today, all things are possible. For without me, you can do nothing. But with me, you can do all things, making the impossible possible. So no matter what was making you down of late, down is not your destiny, my child. For you shall walk in faith today. Be at peace this day. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Mark 10, verses 27, And Jesus, looking at them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Hallelujah. See, this verse shows us God's authority and power and also gives us great faith today. Since the creation of the world, God's authority and power has always been by man's side and manifested in each of his acts. For example, God guided the Israelites out of Egypt and across the Red Sea. Hallelujah. When the Lord Jesus did his work on earth, he fed the 5,000 with five loaves and two fish raised the dead and made the blind see. He controlled and commanded the storms to be still and they also obeyed. All this is the actual and real manifestation of God's authority. As long as we obey God's sovereignty and arrangements and come in righteous standing before him, look up to God in all things and heed everything that he has arranged for us, we can see that his authority and power is everywhere. And thus, we have our faith in God's strength. Hallelujah. See, the authority by which God has given all things and the power of God show us all things that God is present everywhere and at all times. When you have witnessed the authority and power of God, you will see that God is present everywhere and at all times. The authority and power of God are unconstrained by time, geography, space, or any person, matter, or thing. The breath of God's authority and power surpasses the imagination of man. It is unfathomable to man, unimaginable to man, and shall never be complete known by man. But when you spend time with Jesus Christ in that secret place, he will reveal secrets to you. He will show things that you could never thought possible before because God goes with you and he has a plan for your life today if you will just believe in him. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
we come before you today and ask humbly, Lord, that all things are possible for those that believe in you. Lord, every impossible situation that is before us today, we are believing for you to be the way maker. That's right, that you will make a way where there seems no way. Lord, make us a channel of your peace today. Where there is hatred, let us bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there is doubt, true faith in you. Make us a channel of your peace. Where there is despair in life, let us bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there is sadness, ever joy. O Master, grant that we may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all our soul. Make us a channel of your peace, for it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving to all men that we receive, and in dying that we are born to eternal life. Lord, I pray today for each person that is listening. Lord, that you will bless them, that you will make a way where there seems no way. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, touch us and fill us today with your presence, with your glory, with your anointing today. We need a fresh touch from you. Touch us and fill us. Lord, we are believing in the impossible and you are making all things possible possible for those who believe today. We are believing in your promises, knowing that you are a God, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet today. Bless them, fill them, ignite them with your love, with your passion, that they shall never be the same again as we come to you today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. And I just uh, have some words of knowledge here also. Uh, The Lord showed me that an electrical power station, there would be an incident at an electrical power station. So I'm just going to pray against that right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray right now I come against any issue or any incident at any electrical power station where I saw all these sparks, like an explosion, like a, like sparks coming from an electrical power station. So, Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that there would not be any casualties as a result of whatever this issue is with this electrical power station incident. I also saw that China will continue to lead the world in religious persecution. But the underground church shall also be strengthened and it will bring pockets of revival coming throughout China. And as that revival comes, they're also going to pray for the walls of communism to come down. So just as it was with uh, the USSR, when people prayed, God moved. I believe God is going to start to move and bring change in that particular area also. I also saw somebody uh, was having supernatural hair growth. And the Lord is bringing a creative miracle to someone today in the area of supernatural hair growth. So Heavenly Father, whoever that person is right now, I want you to place your hand upon your head right now. And Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, to bring supernatural hair growth to that person right now that has been losing their hair for whatever reason. Lord, I pray whether it's hormonal, whatever it is, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for supernatural hair growth. Lord, I pray for a creative miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's also someone uh, that has their foot has been infected. If your foot has been infected or any part of your leg has been infected, I want you to place your hand upon your leg and receive healing, divine healing, 
wherever that swelling, wherever that, 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 is, that infection has been, it shall leave your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also saw someone with their hand infected. Their hand infected. God is coming against infection today. I also come against infection in your hand or on your arm, anywhere right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak divine healing to that area also in the name of Jesus Christ. I also saw the spirit of lust is going to leave somebody. I also saw a spirit of infirmity leaving someone. I also saw a spirit of deaf and mute spirit also leaving somebody. This could be your loved one. This could be yourself. Whatever it is, I want you to claim it right now as we pray right now also. Heavenly Father, I pray and I come against this spirit of lust right now and I command it to leave that person. I saw that spirit leave. You will leave that person right now or their loved ones right now and go back to the pit of hell. I command that spirit of infirmity. That spirit of infirmity will also leave that person or their loved one and go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against that spirit of death that deaf spirit to leave them and go in the name of Jesus Christ. I command this deaf and mute spirit to leave them or their child or their loved one right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will leave them. They will start to hear. They will start to also speak. They will start to build up vocabulary to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it right now. Let your anointing fall. Let your anointing fall upon each person that is hungry and thirsty for more of you right now. Lord, that you would revive them. You will restore them. I come against, Lord, any person, Lord, with anything to do with the COVID-19 virus right now. I pray right now for everybody that has it right now, whether it is your family member, whether it is your loved one, whether it is your neighbor, whether it's someone in your community, whether it is your leaders, whatever it is, Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that you would come and bring healing to those people today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for healing to come for all those that are suffering right now with COVID-19 right now to bring healing and wholeness over them right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, Repentance Revival. Com. And don't forget, we've got the up and coming fasting in October, which is the 16th, 17th and 18th of October. You can see that program as you can see, uh, we've got it advertised on this prayer also. And I want to encourage you to encourage your family members to join or your family members to join that they may be blessed to receive their breakthrough their deliverance. So many testimonies are coming from the 10 day fasting. Also, it's my birthday on Monday and it's also the start of our school holidays here. So I'll be taking a few days off on uploading anything from Monday. So please allow me to have a rest so that I can spend uh, some time with my family because I've been pretty much not just doing this every day, but I've been doing this 20 for seven for a long, long period of time. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a rest, maybe several days, three days, wh whatever the Lord uh, allows me to do, but I'm just gonna get, uh, just take a time off, would be with the family, uh, enjoy my birthday with the family and so forth, and also come back strong so that we can uh, continue on for the remaining of this year and believing uh, for what God is also saying and doing uh, in the new year of 21. So I just want to encourage you, um, you know, with, there's so many videos, so many uploads that I have on our channel. If you haven't gone through our teachings, I encourage you to do so also. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. 
Shalom, shalom, shalom.